Hey Pashram, it's Elizabeth of ERW Plans and today we're going to do a plan with me video as I do my monthly spread for March 2019. First we'll go over what I'm going to be using to do my spread today. We have my pet planner which is in this lovely pale jade cover that's the bold B5 style from Coco Paper. Ocean Blue Passion Planner Pro. A set of stickers from Chelsea Brown. We have our Silhouette Spatula Tool. Our Slice Tool. We have the Midori Collapsible Ruler. The Westcott 6 inch ruler. Scissors and copper binder clip. You can get more info about those in my planner tools video. Now we're going to be using a Chelsea Brown March kit today, but if you know me and you followed me for quite some time, you'll know that I cannot just follow the rules and use the kit as intended. So in addition to the kit, we're also going to be using the Level 10 Life custom sticker that I had Chelsea do with the custom color scheme and custom text, which you can order off her website. Uh, the Days of the Week monthly stickers for the Pro in emerald green glitter. You'll notice that there's not actually glitter on these stickers, it's just a photo of glitter. There's apparently uh, more than one person who thinks the glitter stickers come with glitter on them. They're not, it's not actual glitter. So, you know, but it is actual foil on the rose gold foiled stickers that we have. Um, these are the monthly dated kit. We have our forest green monthly sidebar dot grid. And our rose gold currently foiled stickers. Part of the reason I can't use the kits as intended is because of the fact that I have a color scheme in my head. It's like a form of synesthesia where each month has its own color associated with it. March is always green. It's just always green. And unfortunately there's no green in Chelsea's monthly kit. So we have to kind of make this into at least something because I love the kit. I think the kit's beautiful. But we got to make this kind of work with my internal color scheme here. So let's get started. First, as I've mentioned in other planner videos, I plan top down when I'm stickering mine. So we're going to turn this planner upside down. Now, what I've already done because I did this in my Passion Planner Pro setup video that you can all, that you can see on this channel. I have the rose gold tabs because I have tabbed all 12 of my months already. So those are already in here. I also went ahead and put in the Chelsea Brown holiday stickers in rose gold as well. So those are our, those are done and already in here. Now, we're going to start we're using the March kit mostly as intended. So we're going to just get started right away here. We're going to put our stickers in top down and you'll see why as soon as I get this first one on here, it comes right up to the line here and because they're the flourish script for the monthlies, that's going to overlap here. So that's why I want to kind of do top down. so that when I put my monthlies on, it's gonna cover up ever so slightly on this, which will look better than if it, the border covered up the little bit of flourish on the text, which you'll see in just a second. So, get both sides on here done. Easiest way I found is make sure you line it up on one side, hold it down, and then we just kind of pull and smooth as you go the stickers have a little bit of a give to them, so I would just pull and smooth as you go. Now, before I go ahead and get my monthlies on, my monthly days of the week on here, 
once again, because they've got a bit of a flourish. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will show you. The flourish script comes up a little bit off of the straight line and goes down a little bit off of the straight line. So if I was to put those stickers on first, this part would be covered up and this would be covered up by the blocks. And we don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my sticker blocks first. Both the top and in this case, we're gonna do the bottom as well. Remember the stickers are not removable. These stickers specifically are not removable. So make sure you really line these up and you know what you're looking at and that you've got the right sticker. As I've said in other videos, if you use the spatula tool, if you make a tiny mistake, you can get under there and pull it back up, but it's not recommended. So I think this looks like a better continuation of the one before it. So just make sure you line this up. Once again, not, for the most part, not removable. There we go. Now, we've got those in. We can get our block, our block of months on. For this, I'm gonna use my spatula tool because it's a much smaller area and I wanna make sure that I get everything lined up correctly. Because if you don't, then they won't exactly fit and you'll have some weird spaces to them. So there's that one. And now I'm just going to get the rest of them on there in the exact same manner. Put them on the spatula, put them over the date. Real simple. And there we are. Top part is finished. Okay, so now we're going to deal with the side of the page. Um, there's the monthly focus box for your personal and work goals, your people to see, places to go, and not to-do list for habits that you're looking to break. I don't really use this, so what I've decided instead so we're gonna put one currently sticker so I can keep track of what I've been reading, watching, and listening to, et cetera, during the month. And we're also going to use the green monthly sidebars. Now, I don't want a solid monthly sidebar, obviously, but I'm also not sure that I necessarily want to do a monthly sidebar and have this then go on top of it that's just gonna add extra kind of chunkiness to the planner. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to actually cut these. We're gonna take our ruler. And I'm gonna measure the monthly focus box. And it's about two and a half centimeters. So I'm gonna grab my pencil. I'm gonna measure out about two and a half centimeters, not from the green line at the top, but from where the actual sticker cut is right here. So we're gonna line that up there. Looks like that's about right. I'm gonna double check my measurement because we measure twice, cut once. might actually be closer to 2.6. That's why we measure twice and cut once. So we'll just move our cut ever so slightly down because I'd rather have a sticker that was too big and trim it than a sticker that is too small. Grab my slice tool. You can also use an X-Acto knife for this, but I didn't want to get out my cutting board and deal with the hassle of that. I'm going to take my pencil and make sure I measure the other side of the sticker. 
this will because this will allow me to have a nice straight line remember one point one point on a piece of paper is just a point two points makes a line basic math so then we line up our two lines that we've measured out here When we think that looks good, take our slice tool, make sure green side's up. And as always, we do about three passes with the slice tool. That usually will get us a nice clean cut. And then I'm just gonna cover up our monthly focus box. A little slightly bit uncentered. So we're going to take this because it's being a bit fiddly. Now we can go ahead and add in our currently sticker, and I don't need to cut that. And we don't actually have to care about it lining up appropriately with the bottoms here because we're going to be putting in another sticker in a moment we need to really care about is making sure that it's not too crooked. Cool. Then we're going to go back to our monthly forest greens and we're going to measure out the rest of this. Maybe slightly bigger than six inches so we'll get our big ruler out. And it looks like we are seven and a half centimeters. So we'll measure on our next block seven and a half centimeters. Once again, from the top of the sticker. Measure it on the other side, like so. Double check the measurement. And then we'll come in here and we will give it a nice even cut across the bottom. That lines up right with the dots. One, two cuts, three cuts. Peel. Spatula. And stick. Now me personally, I feel like the march up here is a bit too small. Luckily I have the Erin Condren um, monthly collection edition three book which has these nice big monthly dates or days of the month I should say so what we're gonna do is just kind of take that out and these I find aren't particularly sticky you may find as the month goes on it starts to pull up and you will want to glue stick it down 
but for right now, I can actually just pop that right over there. It's a little bit big at the top, so we'll have to move it down a smidge. And then as long as the gold is on the paper, and it is, I'll just cut off the excess on the top. Never be afraid to cut your stickers. They're your stickers, you do with them what you wish. There we go. I like that much better. As I mentioned before, I like to plan from the top down. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our days of the month sticker or days of the year sticker so that we can add the stickers to the corners here. I'm going to show you how to do one right now. Take our number get it ever so slightly on the corner of your spatula, line it up, press it down, voila. Let's do the rest. And here we are, the first of March when the sun is shining. Now, like I said, March is green in my mind. And I have some green here and here, and I have green across the top. But I didn't want it to just be those little pops of green. So I put in a ocean blue, which looks more green to me usually, project sticker here. I have my level 10 life stickers across the bottom. But that leaves this space here. What am I gonna do with that? Well, as I said earlier, never be afraid to cut your stickers. So I'm going to use this sticker here. Uh, I love the monthly memorable moment stickers. As you can see, when I made my own monthly sticker, I made sure to make a most memorable moment for February. So the problem is obviously this sticker is going to be too big for here, but what we can do is measure this sticker out. We're looking at a about a 7.8 to 7.9 inch. But if we take from due dates here to due dates there, you've got almost eight and a half centimeters to play with. So we measure it out here. And from edge to edge of these two stickers, you've got about 8.3. So what I'll do, so we got a little bit of room to play with, is I'm just gonna line this up and do three cuts. One, two, three. Same thing here. Line that up to make it about even. And then you're just gonna go three passes. One, two, And then we're going to pull this out. And stick it in. Now, as I'm doing this, I realize if I line it up with the bottom sticker here, I'm going to have a little bit at the top extra there. It might even overlap. And that's why we have our scissors here. We can just even this up ever so slightly. It looks like we're going to measure to be super accurate. 
we've got about six centimeters here. This sticker is about six and a half, ever so slightly less, maybe. I'll we'll call it six and a third, and point three. So we'll come down from point three. One, two, three. That's it. Then I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. You could also stick it back here. In fact, instead of eyeballing it, we will, in fact, just stick it back here. Come down about 0.3. Give or take a little mark with my pencil. This one I'm going to eyeball, which I may regret. And then from edge to edge. One. Two. Now we can stick this in here. And we're going to, I'm going to line it up, I should say. So that it just covers where it says due dates on this side. And there we are. Now, some other suggestions. If you decide to do a cutout like this, you could still use these squares. They don't have to go unused necessarily. You could trim this one up and put it here. So you can have your schedule your month with on this side over here. And then, or have your notes here. If you're going to do that, I would recommend measuring your borders on that those little itty bitty pieces of sticker so that they would be equal on all sides when you put that there. And make sure it would cover that full slot there. Over here, we're going to put in our monthly goal. Our game changer, if you will. And then down here, we're going to break it down. Other things I might consider doing, um, I might consider sticking in a quote over here or actually using this space with like a white sticker so that we have more usable space. And that's our monthly March planner. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. Don't forget we're on every Wednesday morning um, around 7 a.m. Mountain Time. If you like, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Always leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see in the next video. Once again, thanks. My name is Elizabeth ERW Plans. That's ERW underscore plans on Instagram or online ERWplans.com. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next week.